Anonymous witness of Shag Harbor UFO shares deathbed confession. The witness, known only as John Doe, was one of several to see a strange object over Canada more than 50 years ago. The incident, which occurred October 4, 1967, involved multiple witnesses who saw an unidentified object descend from the sky into the ocean a short distance from Shag Harbor, a small fishing village situated along the Atlantic coast of Nova Scotia. Now, most of you know I'm also Canadian. I used to live in Montreal. And at that time, uh, there was only 10, 10 million people in the whole of Canada. Now, I think there's about 30, 30 million. So it, there were not that many people. Most of them were living on the East Coast. Now, when officers arrived at the scene here in 1967, they witnessed the object, which was estimated to be around 18, meet, 18 meters, that's what, well, 60 feet in diameter, floating on the water with its light still flashing. It remained visible for some time before disappearing beneath the waves. Despite extensive efforts by Canadian Navy divers to locate the object on the sea floor, no trace of it was ever found, and the incident was ultimately dismissed as unexplained. And now, more than 56 years later, a witness who had observed the object at the time was contacted, has contacted Unexplained Mysteries via email to describe his experience. A photograph that he presumably captured of the object was also included. And this was a large, brilliantly lit, rectangular-shaped object. It came out of the water and ascended into the sky and quickly disappeared. This photograph was taken roughly 30 miles away from Shag Harbor about a week after the incident started, he wrote. As far as I'm aware, and to the best of my knowledge, no man-made aircraft or submarines possessing such technology exist. One can clearly see from the photo enlargement that this object has no visible means of propulsion, wings, engines, etc. Quite extraordinary and remarkable as how to this object moved and traveled around. I've carried out this burden. He said, I've carried this burden for over 50 years and now it's time to set this free. A full-size copy of the submitted UFO image is uh, viewed below. Now, this is on... Um, Unexplained Mysteries by T.K. Randall. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.